What is going on guys? TJ got kicks 89 and I'm back with another sick pickup and review. This time we got a Yeezy Boost 350 box and from the description and the thumbnail you could probably tell this is the semi frozen yellow Yeezy Boost 350 V2. Adidas Malaysia stock um raffle number right there from crossover. This is a crossover pair. Um Backstory is I got this on a direct trade with a carous from a person in carousel called Nazmi Shout out to you, man. Thank you so much for trading these to me. I actually didn't really want them But he gave me an offer that I couldn't really uh, decline so Why not right everybody wants? Yeezys I guess um, Semi frozen yellow at one time, this was one of the most rarest Yeezy colorways to drop. Yeah, it made that fart sound that every Yeezy Boost box makes. At one time, this was one of the most rarest Yeezy uh, 350v2 colorways. Sorry. One take, Jake. And this is actually um, the restock up in December that they had down in um, the entire Malaysia obviously so this is the first time for my channel and first time for everyone that's new to this channel because I don't really usually do hype pickups but the Yeezy Boost 350 V2 is a favorite of mine I actually never own a restock pair I used to own like a few of the other early releases like the Belugas which obviously I traded away and used as trade bait uh, so I don't really consider myself owning them but um, yeah so this is it close up view of the prime net sorry if it's overexposed guys um, this iPhone camera isn't really focusing All right, let's go over a very short review because everyone's seen videos of these. Every single person on YouTube has pairs. Every single person in Malaysia that one of them has had their pairs, obviously. And I hope everyone is able to cop. You have a prime knit upper surrounding the entire upper part of the shoe. There's no leather whatsoever with the exception of this synthetic suede inside holding the eyelets together. And a few... Um, I call them just fused materials underlaying the entire part of the shoe giving it the structure that it needs which is why in my opinion the 350 V2 is better than the V1 but that's a topic for discussion uh, you've got SPLY 350 running across here that obviously stands for the Yeezy supply website uh, the Yeezy supply line where you can get these shoes from as well in the US and it's done up in this semi-frozen yellow or vault uh, colorway, solar yellow, whatever you want to call it, uh, across the upper. And this is the part that kind of like turned everybody off, this kind of bluish, grayish, dark grayish zebra stripe running across the entire shoe. Some people were really turned off by that. They said it should have been like a lighter hue or a darker hue, but hey, you can't really please everyone in this life. Um, you've got the pull tab in the back which is a feature prominent on the V1 and this is a, a way that you can actually tell if your early pairs were fake because they had this color running across the stripe where as opposed to this it's a very very light yellow um, standard Yeezy uh, rope laces insole done obviously in the same frozen semi frozen yellow uh, nothing really special to go on there you've got a boost midsole encapsulated in this TPU casing much like the hardened V1s and hardened V2s but this is a much more softer and pliable material which is why the boost can expand as you're walking and basically makes this an all-around comfort beast of a shoe to walk in um, on the bottom, you've got this uh, gum outsole, 
which is a plus to anyone who owns a, uh, a 350 Yeezy 350 V2 because it is one of the first parts <laughs> if you don't get the upper dirty it is one of the first parts that you will get dirty on this shoe itself and will obviously usually oxidize over time a la Jordan 11's uh, clear soles whatsoever but having this um, gum outsole on this V2 I think is a really nice touch it pops with the shoe and dudes like anyone from the 90s gum bottoms are sexy man you've got Adidas writing right there uh, same with the other side of the shoe you've got these cutouts to let the boost expand as you walk you've got a huge cutout here which is usually the first place that you'll get really dirty on your Yeezy V2 because this is the part that will compress and most probably grind with the surface that you're walking on boost riding at the bottom there and that pretty much takes care of the entire review of the Yeezy Boost 350 my thoughts on this pair is that I'm much more of an anti high beast you could say, say whatever you want, blame me in the comments, I don't care. But like the one of the first Ultra Boost colorways that I own was the Solar Yellow and I love wearing that pair, I wore it to death. Still downstairs, sorry I don't, can't really take that upstairs for you guys, I'll do like a comparison video or I'll come up with like a 2018 OG versus the real, uh, the first Ultra Boost run. But this shoe is just a shoe that pops you know not everyone can wear it but if you've got the right outfit like dark outfits basically like all dark uh, bottoms and tops you know like a, a jacket that probably pops with this shoe and this shoe is just gonna be the main part of your outfit and I think it's a color that everyone should own in the 350 easy 350 V2 um, so one of the most colorways at one time this was the one of the most limited releases of the 350 V2 um, Yeah, nothing really much to say all-around comfort monster everyone should own a pair of Yeezys um, the 350 creams are restocking uh, By the time this video is up They should already be releasing and everyone can get their pairs everywhere in Malaysia Adidas Pavilion, JD, Foot Locker, everywhere. They have it everywhere. Yeezys are for everyone nowadays. Fuck the resale hype. Um, sorry, just gotta say what I gotta say. But everyone needs a pair. <laughs> All around comfort monster. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. This has been TJ Got Kicks 89. Follow me on Instagram, t.j89. That's T D O T J A Y 89. Uh, follow me on Facebook. I don't really have Twitter. But follow me on the, those two social media accounts. Thanks so much for watching. Hit like, comment, and subscribe for more sneaker content from Malaysia. This is your boy. Thank you so much, and we are out. Until the next one, guys.